Magnific. Uh, Scorpion got the uh, one the die roll, and so starts off with the additional fate. Always a bit of an advantage, especially in long, but in longer games, she equalizes out. We see Bayushi Liar, Scorp, has some magical powers to always have one of those excellent, excellent characters. Uh, the Maya Mystic is another one of these attachment controls, which is just not going to be very powerful in this game. Uh, always kind of a dead dynasty draw. We see Skasha Scout, which is great for scouting the Scorpion, uh, Deadly Scorpion row. He buys that with no fate. Uh, I guess he, you know, he knows there's three assassinations in Nivik's deck, so otherwise, Kasha Scout's always a good one to put some fate on. Uh, buys Liar. I would suspect a pass, yes. He gains, he passes for the additional fate at this point in the game. Seven Politician would be good, but honoring Kasha Scout's not a big deal. So better to pass and, and actually get the passing fate from Scorpion, which is, you know, becoming <laughs> harder and harder to do. Uh, I don't know. Boards are not going to be that wide, so I'll just, I can make things a little bigger for people watching. Um, I'm going to throw this game, bear with me for a second. Um, I'm going to throw this game up just on the L5R South, Southern Ontario group as well, in case anybody wants to watch. So I'll go off, offline for a second. So you start us to draw a card, five to five. I would be flabbergasted if it was anything but five to five in a Scorpion Crane matchup. Um... Okay, Scorpion uses the box. This is what they want to do, starting below honor. And so matchup-wise here, I mean, obviously Yoshi's pretty huge, and there's only two clouds in Nivik's deck. I mean, the Maya Mystics will be useful for that, is to get off clouds, uh, not so much for attachment controls. And the Social Illusionist is also there. So we'll see who's going to win favor coming out of this turn. I think that'll be um, with a Yoshi showing on the board. Either if that province gets knocked off, or if Scorpion's able to keep favor, will be pretty big. So Kasha Scout finds Meditations on the, the Tau, which is a good find. Although, you know, with a Kasha Scout, uh, <laughs> you'd like to be blanking something a little more impactful at this point, but you take what you can get. We'll see if he has the Bonsai, and we'll see if Nivik has anything in response in terms of assassination or conflict character. I'm sure he doesn't want to have to play a conflict character at this stage against the Kasha Scout, but... Uh, he is going in for a water ring to bow the Bayushi Liar, um, which is, you know, powerful. Uh, certainly fire is not going to do much with this board. Uh, earth might have been something to think about. But so yeah, either earth or, or water, I think, were the good rings there. Bayushi Liar especially annoying for, for Crane because zero glory means that they, they can't do anything to, get, to affect it with a stronghold. You know, barring crazy fiery madness splashes and things like that. So Nivik's thinking on what he wants to do, sorting through his initial hand. It's already up to 10 cards for both of them. Next to two storehouses. Uh, Meditation on the Tau is not something Scorpion wants to defend that heavily. They'd like, you know, it to be out of the way as a non-farmable province, but losing a a province this early to Crane, which is usually f can be fairly aggressive. Um, maybe not something he wants to do. Plus, the bow will force him um, to come up with conflict character or something in order to keep the favor away from away from uh, away from Samurai Yan, Crane player. So either he doesn't have the assassination, or he's trying to bait something for the break here. Um, let's see. Let's see if Samurai yeah, just takes the pass, uh, which seems like a good thing to do. Yeah, takes the pass, gets the bow, gets a lot of value out of that. So we'll see what nivik has got. No, he doesn't have a conflict character, so he has to uh, pass his conflict. So we'll see if he's just doing that to see if he can get Samurai Yan to come up with another conflict character, or if it if we're going to have a relatively quick first turn leading to a favor for Crane and uh, uh, Yoshibai. So does Crane want it? Then he does. He does want to invest. So he invests. Interesting, he puts a fate on the Steward of Law, um, which means he doesn't necessarily going to go back to meditation. So I guess he's going to scout with the Steward. Uh, not a terrible thing, because, uh, I mean, either you're going to hit Pilgrimage, which is probably the worst thing right now, um, because Shameful doesn't do much to you with the Steward of Law. It allows an honoring of a Kachiko if he has it. No, he finds Pilgrimage. 
which means there's probably going to be no response at all from Nivik. Um, political pilgrimage is going to be awfully hard to break with Steward of Law. You know, two fans later, maybe. Um, but it is the Earth... Oh, no, the Earth thing's not going to go off. So it's just basically going to get... Uh, knock a favor off of uh, Nivik for Undefended and then uh, get a little even more towards the uh, getting the favor, so... Oh, so he did have the assassination. Um, I guess Nimic didn't play it in the first conflict because he suspected conflict character, which makes sense. I think the Crane player has at least eight uh, conflict characters in the deck. So he assassinates the Steward of Law because um, it was going to be around next turn, I suppose. Taking him down to seven honor, which is not particularly a problem for Scorpion at this point. Almost a good thing to be able to turn that box on so easily. So going into the into the second turn here, I've got interesting. I, I don't know if I'd give the nod to anyone. I mean, Crane had a pretty good first turn. They scouted out two provinces. So you know what's going on there. They got the favor with Yoshi. That's big. But they'll be down a card, um, and they'll be down uh, three fate, four fate going into the next next turn. Oh no, Kachiko comes down. Ooh, three honor catch. So that's a good. I think believe Nivik has two of them in his deck. Two Kachikos in his deck. So dropping the cash go and keeping the favor. So I don't know. It almost, even though it seems like Scorp, uh, Crane had all the action, I, I was looking still pretty even, but uh, not nearly as good for Crane this time. So it's catch go. Oh, catch go opts to attack, which I can see. He doesn't give a chance to give up the break, but this, well, this will mean a favor tie. That's true because the assassination. So this makes sense too. You don't need necessarily need to favor yourself. I think Nivik has one. Um, Nivik has one um, a center in his deck but nothing else really needs favor so he's going directly at Yoshi so he doesn't have to worry about this favor thing turn after turn uh, and why not I guess why not pick that province uh, Fertafel gives a fate and draws a card so Samurai yeah, and even though he has Fushing Disciple, Disciple again this was second pack legal meta he has Fushing Disciple, which is not a card you see much after all six packs came out for Crane. He doesn't run Cloud the Mind. So this Kachiko um, is going to be, uh, you know, going to be a problem <laughs> going forward with this, her ability. So Crane can certainly handle it just purely off stats. Um, oh, we see a young Harrier dropped at the end. A uh, lot of fight for... Um, a lot of interesting things going on out of hand here. I mean, we started the turn with just a liar versus a cautious scout. <laughs> and we've gone through three conflict characters between the two players right now. And the Harrier was dropped right at the end to get the uh, favor. And uh, no counter court games for the Kachiko to be able to break that fertile field, which was pretty big. She re honored herself with the fire ring, but um, Yoshi surviving that turn. It's, and not getting the province break is pretty massive. So we're three fade up for Samurai Yan. Um, I was score Crane. Maybe I should just clans. And, uh, but the board is much more substantial on, on the uh, Scorpion side. So he buys another Shigenja. Uh, mm, it doesn't really tell us much. I mean, he did not really have enough fate for uh, Shoju. So this may or may not mean he has the cloud. Um, he's going to be almost halfway through his deck. When he draws five again here, so it's a pretty good chance he'll have a cloud or has a cloud. He has two in the deck. Uh, I think Samurai Yen still buys, um, still buys Yoshi. Um, the Doji Challenger is not bad at this stage, but he's not going first. Um, Doji Challenger with, with Fable Ground is pretty solid, though. So he does buy the Yoshi with two fate, um, which leaves him a bit vulnerable to fate worse than death. Uh, you know, you sh often you'll see a three or maybe even four fate if you have it. Because um, there's fate on rings and stuff to give fate. So we'll see We'll see if the fate worse of death is going to cause a problem given that Yoshi situation. So even get him honored up and turn the voice, voice of us online. Okay, we'll see if the cloud comes down here on Yoshi. Uh, the only options for Crane if it does is he has calling in favors. He has two calling in favors. He could call it on to the uh, young Harrier.
So city open hand is bowed. Take oh, take one over. Yeah. So honors back after being tied eight eight despite an assassination, and unopposed from from scorpion. Ah, uh, the scorpion box so fair and balanced. Meek and Formic comes down. Oh, good. Caster's best friend. Um, <laughs> along with so let us know what's in there. So we got inside. Meek Formic reveals in Crane's hand. A fate worse than death. Amid defeat. Bonsai. Calling of favors. Court games. Court games. Fine Katana. For, two for shames. Kami Unleash. Steward of Law. Voice of Honor. And Way of the Crane. Hmm. So that's pretty interesting because he has the way to turn on the Voice of Honor. So... For Nivik, it'll really be how many cancels do I have versus how many cancels does Crane have? Uh, because that fate, worse than death, is, uh, uh, you know, would obviously be used on Kachiko if it could be, if Crane thinks he can get it off. So, But it'd be pretty dangerous at this point, having gone through 16 cards. Um, and I believe Nivik is on one censure. Let me just double check. He's on one center. Oh, he doesn't have the favor. So he, it'd really be whether he has two four GGs or not, whether that goes through. And that's an awfully big... Oh, he doesn't have four fate anyway. So <laughs> what am I talking about? He doesn't have four fate uh, to threaten it yet. He does have two four, sh uh, two four shames and a steward. Um, one assassination down for, for Nivik, but pretty good chance he has a second one as well. So it'll be an interesting turn. Uh, Nivik has full information, so I mean, obviously he has a big advantage going into this turn, or going into this turn with the Meek Informant. I mean, Scorp is just uh, same thing happened in my game when it just like second, third turn. I I thought I'd done some okay things, but Scorp <laughs> Nivik and his Scorpion just had me on board, had me on fate, had me on cards. It was uh, you know surprising to look at the board state. You know, third turn on. Ah, uh, yeah, there's that cloud. Yoshi, uh, still a big stat block. So there's nothing particularly terrible with that. He's, you know, since he has two court games in hand and a way of the crane, he's fairly Kachiko proof. Barring, you know, double way of the scorpion, etc. from uh, Nivik, which may be there. He hasn't used any of them yet. But Young Harrier can also be used to... Uh, to protect um, uh, Yoshi from being dishonored. Most players have a Fable Ground, so there can't be any Fable Ground shenanigans with attack, force defense, leave, etc. Okay, we're seeing the military come in. I suspect there'll be a Young Harrier block here, uh, which actually is good because then it leaves um, the Young Harrier free. Uh, his ability, he can use it uh, to prevent further dishonors uh, on the characters and uh, doesn't affect his stats if you use it in the block here. I believe that Samurai Yan is running two assassinations, uh, which may come into play. Assassination, I mean, Crane gets enough incidental honor, they might not have to worry about the three, but if Nivik would 4G Dick assassination, it'd be good for him, but at the same time, using up a 4G Dick when he knows there's a fate worse than death in hand and a way for him to get up to four. It's best. Heading back to Fertile Fields. On the Void Ring. Oh, it blocks with the Yoshi. Which is a fairly substantial investment. Um... Oh, political conflict. Sorry, he initiated political conflict. My, my fault. I thought it was going to be military for sure, given the hefty military stats, uh, avail uh, political stats available to Nivik. Uh, I guess he's just want to use them on defect. So Samurai Yan tries to play the court games, which is the if Forge Dedic onto Kachiko, uh, which I'm sure Crane isn't... Oh. Okay. So yeah, he wanted to make sure that the Voice of Honor was off for his uh, Fate Worse Than Death. So, and Yoshi is clouded, so he didn't have an option anyway. So we still have a 3-0 three, a attack on fertile fields here. Let's see if there's any pumps to uh, get the break. 
on the void ring. Yeah, so this is kind of a nightmare, right? With a two, when you two, two fate, uh, your your big characters is a you get this, you get the fate worse to death into the void ring. He could favorable in the Harrier, but that's not going to do a whole lot. Um, if he can get this Soci Illusionist bowed, uh, sorry, dishonored, then he can use his box on it, which I think would be pretty useful. But yeah, I mean, he really wants, but then again, favorable ground and catch go as well. So there's the break. I really no chance of stopping it at this point. Uh, a no fate rival could actually stop it. Um, and Ketchiko wouldn't be able to send it home. But uh, we'll see. There's still a lot of cards in the hand to be spending to all your fate on uh, a no-fate rival. When their board's going to be down already. Next turn. Uh, favorable grounds in to not lose the honor. I mean, he could he could use the calling in favors and use get off Yoshi's ability before Yoshi disappears. Um, I mean, that, I can see one, why that'd be a line. Oh, four shames. Okay. Interesting. Uh, two four shames in hand. That's true. Oh, if, he, if the other four shame, he can use to use his box. This is, uh, and win the conflict. Very nicely done by Samurai Yan. Like I had forgotten already Hall's cards. Um, I'm sure Nivik may, is Nivik's on zero fate. So he has to have, um, uh, he could court games, I guess, to, honor his social illusionist so he can just he can dishonor instead of taking it for shame uh because of that for shame either for either his ego's dishonor or a bow then then crane will win this conflict at which point i suspect a military water uh from here yep there's a for shame to bow the social illusionist uh, rather than take this honor and give the chance to use the box. Um, I don't know. I might have taken the dishonor there simply because then he can't um, use the box in your meek informant on defense if you try to block with your meek informant. But the meek informant's not going to be blocking anything too hard anyway. So. so this young Harrier can now go back military on water or it can just pick up fate to be his choice because... The meek informant can't attack. So we see a way of the crane on the young Harrier. Uh, not something I would expect. I mean, it turns on the voice of honor. So I can see it from that perspective. There's the only way. A game of Seldane isn't legal in this tournament. So there's no other way to get... There's no easy way, <laughs> barring two way of the cranes, to get uh, Yoshi back up. And he heads into meditations. Oh, with the palace. Sorry, I forgot to mention that it flipped up that's pretty big uh yoshi's clouded but still getting with a one censure getting the the favor uh is pretty solid and especially against crane box a political favor is always welcome heads back in earth directly he's not going to bother trying to stand yoshi back up for another attack so just head back in military earth um apart from assassination i don't know if there's anything nivet can do about this on zero fate So I think it was a well turned, well, well played turned by both players, both excellent players. I think Crane handled this fairly well, coming from kind of a behind position, especially after that cloud went down, to I think going in okay position next turn, although still catch Kobe sticking around for a while, and it can't be that hard to rehonor her. Let's see. So Nivik's thinking over his options here. Oh, it's a bonsai on the young Harrier, which we knew he had in his hand from the meek informant. Uh, yep, that will be enough to go on the break. Uh, so unless there's an assassination, we know there's a voice of honor. So there goes meditations and the palace, um, which means Samurai Yan will win the favor here. Um... It's the second Meek Informant, so at least he'll have a hidden hand for, for the rest of the game, because I believe there's only two Meek Informants on Nivik's side. But, and Scorpion's not the saddest to see Meditations go, because now we have a rule of Pilgrimage, Shameful Display, 
and hidden secret cache <laughs> to attack into. So rest of the conflicts are passed. There's no political rival or anything coming down from, from uh, the crane player. Okay, so we're heading into the next turn. Um, crane is at, you know, well, they turn the scorpion box back on, which isn't the most fortunate thing, but you know, slightly ahead in honor. Uh, one card advantage. Uh, down on board, especially next turn with Ketchiko probably sticking around for two more turns, but having a four fate advantage. So yeah, this game's uh, pretty tight, pretty interesting so far. Shoju gets dumped. Yeah, not enough fate. It's not the usual massive investment banker Scorpion that we see sometimes. Uh, Scorpion flips Vonnie Diffmat, so they can definitely get the favor back if they want it. Uh, and a Banushi Manipulator. So not a strong dynasty flop, but most of the powers out of their hand anyway. Uh, storehouse for card draw and a City of Lies, to, which is pretty powerful economically for them if they can keep it up. And that's either on Shameful or Hidden Cash, so don't necessarily want to attack it if you don't have to. On the Crane side, uh, we have Kudaka, which could enable some one of the two clouds. Um, nope, a good Doji Challenger, which is strong going first. And Guest of Honor. Um, so he doesn't buy the Guest of Honor, which is almost a snap buy a lot of times for Crane. Um, at this point, I don't know if he really wants to by, oh, he plays Kachiko from hand. That's pretty strong. Um, which we knew he had in his hand. Uh, Guest of Honor to um, with two fate seems low for this matchup. I mean, you want Guest of Honor with like four fate, <laughs> as much fate as you could load onto it. Um, so yeah, Savvy Politician comes in instead. I think he wants to bank fate for that Guest of Honor. And I'm sure Scorpion will be gunning to get rid of it. Although going first with the Challenger, means that uh, I don't I know favorable ground on the other side means that I don't think Kachiko is going to be as much a big a factor as she would be normally. Manipulator comes in with a fate. Let's just try to get some of that card advantage back. Uh, we have two fate on the air ring, which might have made it, I think Challenger was a better buy, but two fate on the air ring made Kodaka somewhat tempting as well, given that there's not much military presence on the board for Crane. I mean, for Scorpion. So Sermaya Jens changes his bid to four to put a, you know, a small amount of uh, politician. So he, we knew he had a way of the crane. So way of the crane comes down on the savvy politician to honor the challenger, I would imagine. Um, but Yoshi wouldn't be terrible either, given the three glory. But the challenge is going to stick around a lot longer, hopefully, unless there's another way of the crap. Uh, sorry, <laughs> unless there's another fate worse than death coming down. Uh, there's a pause. I... There's no court. Oh, yeah, there's a court here. So he could be. Um, Nivik could be waiting. I uh, think on a 4G dict here, which isn't terrible because you're stopping two. Two honors. And uh, like, you know, plus three, plus three stats. And let's see. Yep. That's the second 4G dict. So, oh, no, yeah, second for you. So two of his four cancels and censure is not online for him versus no cancels uh, used for Crane. So in the cancel war, it's starting to look fairly good for Crane, but then again, they have to get get and keep honored characters to turn those on. It's not, always, not the always the easiest for Scorpion, uh, against Scorpion. And that's the second way the Crane used. City of the Open Hand gives back an honor. I suspect that storehouse will be used. Yeah, fate's relatively even. Hand sizes are exactly even. <laughs> Honor's pretty even. Board, I'd give it still slightly to Scorpion. I think um, just because they're really big characters going to be sticking around longer than so he's taking the savvy politician uh, uh, into what exactly no oh, just the doji challenger yeah savvy politician be no so is it political is that why he's thinking of a court games honor but if he takes the political kachikos is going to send either one of these home so I imagine it's got to be military. 
And yeah, fire ring to rehonor Yoshi for the political defense, I'm guessing. They've got a pretty juicy air ring. Uh, I suppose one favors is two, because the air ring's not that important right now. It's fine. I just, just you know, as a long <laughs> as a long game crab player, I always find it hard to pass up the one that has more, because it is denying your opponent as well. But the water ring's also pretty valuable if for Nivik as the defender here, if he defends at all. He flips over secret cash, uh, so currently not breaking with the. City of Lies, and if you attack in a secret cache, you you want to break it. Um, you don't want to mess around with having that thing get multiple fires. Now, Scorpion's got 13 cards in hand, so that's he's got a lot of tools to deal with this. And unless there's another way of the crane, neither one of these characters is getting honored to turn on Voice of Honor. So, Kachiko is a three military strength. I would imagine Doji Challenger wants to pull in Kachiko, which makes this even harder to break. Um, I guess he just really wanted the fire ring. Uh, and didn't want to go back to Pilgrimage, which makes sense. Although Doji Challenger, pull in Kachiko, attack Pilgrimage would have been another option, just basically trading the, the Challenger for the for the Kachiko, and then take the Air Ring, because you don't care about the Ring effect. I think that might have been also a, a decent line of play. But, you know, Samurai Yan's a much better cream player than I am, so. He could have a, more bonsais, etc., to go over the top of Kachiko. So Nivik's considering whether he wants to defend this or not. I, He's going to end up... Yeah, so he just defends it with Kachiko. Um, which I can see, because you know she... Well, now he's thinking about it. Because, yeah, if you defend with anyone, someone else is going to get pulled in. Uh, and you wouldn't be necessarily winning the conflict. I mean, you're further preventing the break, but I don't think... Like, if you're, like, social illusionist gets pulled in, then what do you have? You have a 0-0 zero, zero character left, Right. I mean, four fate, and certainly all the conflict characters in these decks. I think there's eight and eight, <laughs> but there's 16 conflict characters between the two decks, so lots of stuff comes out of nowhere. So blocks with the manipulator, uh, just not to lose the honor. Um, or maybe has, oh, he's a courtier, so he has four shames, most likely. So he has option up a lot of four shame options, uh, which none have been played on the scorpion side, yeah. Uh, and he's more than halfway through the deck, so... Uh, oh, Fate Worse and Death comes down, a second one. I guess getting them off while the cancels are not available, which is, even though he has a lot of cancels left um, for Samurai Yan, uh, already two of the big things he wants to cancel are gone. Uh, did he use the... I don't think he actually reduced the cost of that, which I found a bit... Let me see. Does he do the open hand? No, there was no... Uh, There was no uh, use, use of the City of Lies, so I don't know if he plans to use it for something else, or he just wanted to get it off before any kind of honoring. Uh, so the secret Kami comes down. Kami Unleashed, I mean, comes down with zero fate. He wants to pop it to honor uh, somebody, probably a savvy politician, but he gets assassinated immediately. There's a counter-assassination uh, on the Dishonored Manipulator, Way of the Scorpion comes down, so cards are flying now on <laughs> this conflict. Uh, Way of the Scorpion comes down on the Savvy Politician to make it a 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, Fine Katana has popped on the Savvy Politician, uh, so meaning he's winning the conflict. So it'll be interesting. I think actually the right thing to do is probably dishonor Kachiko, because honoring Yoshi... I mean, he's not going to be around past this phase. And if you dishonor Kachiko, it's becoming increasingly hard for uh, Kachiko to get re-honored. Uh, no court guns have been used, so I guess it's not that hard versus one, two court games on Crane's side. So counter court games, probably not going to happen. There's got a, most likely a political rival in Crane's hand by now, which Kachiko, unless she becomes honored, is uh, not going to be able to send home. Plus favor. So we already had an assassination, and there's zero fate. I'm not. I don't know if there's anything Scorpion can do about this. Dishonor is a social illusionist. That's oh, I see. Okay, so he's shifted his focus from any sort of conquest to dishonor. Uh, bold against 
well, for two reasons. Bold because there's a two fate air ring for, and that, I mean, there's a decent chance Kachiko plus illusionists can get, because there's still eight political strength, um, and of well, Scorpion box, of course. So interesting. Okay, so yeah, he's going for the immediate dishonor rather than taking the stats off Kachiko. Let's see if this pans out for him. Because uh, Crane's going to drop to three honor at the end of this turn. Um, so it's going to be like three honor to two honor. And if Kachiko and the Illusionist win the air ring, then he's, he's going to drop to two honor versus Scorpion's three. Uh, and if he takes any unopposed, which most likely not going to. So, but anyway, it could, I mean, <laughs> the honor pool is draining very quickly here. And we're 11 cards to 10, so neither player can be that sure what they can do to each other. So Nivik's thinking, I gotta think, I mean, Water Ring, but you know, she's probably gonna block anyway. I gotta think he, he, he's gonna value the hot Air Ring pretty heavily. I think he might even have Goblin Sneak, so let me do a double check, because if you can get that two fate, um... Yeah, he has two Goblin Sneaks, so again, pretty decent chance. Plus he has Kami Unleashed. Um, so getting the two fate off the air ring and the air ring itself could be pretty devastating to Crane's honor total. Um, here, I mean, the air ring itself, he could Kami Unleash it, uh, or he could use the Goblin Sneak to get unopposed military conflict. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen a Scorpion game that actually goes to <laughs> Stronghold Break, or often any province breaks. Um, they're just playing to their strengths. I don't blame them, but uh, again, that box is a bit ridiculous. It's, it's so much stronger than any other Stronghold in terms of blanking win conditions. I mean, by my count, it blanks two of them. You Very hard to dishonor them, and it's uh, super hard to win by honor against them, or nearly impossible, so... Not that that's not hard already, but against Scorpion, it's it's close to impossible as you get in this game. Uh, so he takes in the air, political with just the illusionist. I guess he's he's in no rush. Uh, so the crane box bows the character uh, without favor. So, I mean. See, he's got his Kami Unleashed um, as a two-cost character. I think he may have another. No, the other Meek Informant's gone. He can't afford the Cunning Magistrate. So other than Kami Unleashed, I don't see he has any options to win this fight. Uh, actually, so that would seem a, he got the two fate. So I guess uh, that in itself is, is, is good enough. And he's certainly going to stop any kind of attack, like any political attack. It's, not going to go through, barring a political rival coming down and just coverting Kachiko, which I think. So Goblin Ski comes down, which makes political rival play kind of very short term. Although, hmm, Fox has already been used. So, so if a political rival does come down and go around Kachiko, uh, Kachiko, they still have a military though, which Kachiko and the Sneak can win. I suppose you could dishonor. No, I don't see any way to win win by um, dishonor this turn f for... Oh, no. No, sorry. I do. I mean, any unopposed conflict. So a political rival coming down and just going around Kachiko may win by dishonor here. Because he doesn't have to actually win any ring. He just has to go right at pilgrimage. Interesting, interesting. It's going to be an interesting next couple conflicts. Of course, the air ring is still unclaimed. Yeah, that, that would be the problem. The air ring is unclaimed. So even if you did knock off that one point of honor, um, Scorpion can come back and in all likelihood, especially if you use all your fate on a rival, in all likelihood win the air ring. Just grab two more honor from you and you're about to drop precipitously. City of Lies is used to reduce the cost, so opens up a lot of options, or more options. I mean, 
what one cost events does he have? He, I don't think there's any maze of illusions, so like calling in favors would be his one cost event that I can think of uh, that he would want to use. He could grab the fine katana from the... Uh, which is not going to do a ton for stats. I mean, it takes Goblin Sneak up by two. The assassination's already been used this turn, so... Okay, so so they both pass, so we're moving to conflict choice. Uh, one political left for Crane. He did not play any characters, so either he attacks with the only character he has um, military in an attack, he would be have great difficulty winning. Oh, sorry, he's political. So he attacks in. I mean, either Kachiko blocks. I mean, if Kachiko blocks and uses their ability then Yoshi's just going home. So he's taking the water ring, forcing a block, essentially. Uh, I don't know if he's forcing a block. I mean, a one-strength Doji Challenger on military is not that imposing. But uh, Kachiko uh, simply, you know, she's just going to immediately, likely deny this. And it has to go into secret cache again. Oh, it's just fine. It's already been used. So that's a pretty quick attack. So we have the sneak. Uh, oh, fate worse than death is played on Kachigo. Oh, because all the courtiers were okay. But again, Scorpion has the option of the air ring. Uh, we see formal invitation on the challenger. Oh, okay. No, I thought for a second that the challenger was going to move in, and then. And then, uh, yeah, he was mentioning he's at one with the favor if he's able to move in and then win. Okay, I see. <laughs> so, <laughs> so his plan was to move the challenger in and game, uh, take the favor, uh, use the favor along with the bowed challenger to win that water conflict. And he could stand up Yoshi again. Um, probably not Yoshi, stand up. Well, he has no one with any political military strength. That's one of the savvy politician. He can stand up a savvy politician. But a calling of favors is used um, off the of City of Lies fate uh, reduction. And then, uh, yeah, <laughs> Samurai Yan's talking about that. He thought he had to actually, he thought he could do the hawk tattoo thing and just move straight in. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, he wasn't able to. So, yeah. So he's not going to win that water conflict. Now he's looking at unopposed. Here, uh, air unopposed takes him down to three. Two characters, so we take him down to one, with um, with Scorpion having first attack at air next turn, uh, or or void to take away the Doji Challenger, or lots of things to get that last honor off. Um, so I think things are looking uh, tough. Uh, at the very least, I would say tough <laughs> for the for the crane player here. I mean, what? Uh, but he's going in void. Oh, okay. He's going in void, uh, which will get rid of the challenger. Yeah, I guess he doesn't really need air at this point because he can take air as first player next turn. Yeah, this is the better play. Gets rid of the challenger. Uh, so no defender, no board at all. And uh, wipes out, um, takes, takes Crane down to uh, two honor. Here, one honor, actually, because the unopposed. Whew, tough one. You think you're up on fate, up on honor by Scorpion. I mean, he was substantially, right? Three. But now, all of a sudden, he's uh, looking at being equal. No, uh, oh, Scorpion's going to lose one, two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh one as well so scorpion will be at one crane will be at one but scorpion has the first attack so yeah as often you see in these tight games first attack is huge um when it comes down to this and uh even though catch goes dishonor she's still three political um on board neither player has any fate so 
hopefully this guest of honor can do some serious work um, <laughs> next turn to stop that air attack. Um, I mean, we have the sneak to come in too, which could potentially get an unopposed. So if air goes off the table and can't defend the military attack, yeah, Crane's definitely on the back foot. We'll see if it can survive this turn. It's very, very close on the honor win condition. Uh, one broken province. And it's got, imagine Scorps is going to keep going back to fertile fields. Okay, we have Yoshi with the favor, but not enough fate. I mean, if he buys Yoshi, he's just, I don't know. That's pretty risky to just buy Yoshi here, even though the three cards would be nice. I think Guest of Honor to fate is your play. Although Scorpion's going to pick up most, if not all, the fate on rings. I mean, you could pass in Political Rival. Um, no, you can't do that. Tough spot for Crane. They, there's lines, I think, that they could pull it out here or survive another turn, but we'll have to see what, what happens. And I still believe there's no, been no court games. Yeah, there's been no court games for Crane, so... That catch go... The catch go can send away most anything that's there to block. And two way the cranes have been used, so pre honoring the guest of honor is going to be very difficult. Plus, his favorite niece is going to cycle out some dead cards, most likely calling in favors. Possibly clouds because he has no Shigenjas at this point. And this. This is the, the, I mean, if the other turns weren't big, this is big. Because even if City of the Open Hand can't steal and Crane is looking to lose, uh, Scorpion's looking to lose two Honor from Dishonored characters. So unless he finds a way to honor them both, he's going to lose at the end of this turn. But has, a, I think, a favored chance, definitely a more than 50% chance, I'd say, to just win by Dishonor the other way. So very interesting game here you know, in the uh, elimination semifinals to see who goes on to play... Um, uh, Litors, who is waiting uh, after his loss in the Dragon Mirror on the winter side. Okay, uh, yeah, <laughs> not a lot of going on in the comments. It's the middle of the afternoon, so I'm sure a lot of people are not able to watch, but uh, definitely an interesting game. I hope some people can catch it on VOD. Okay, consumed by five fires. Yeah, certainly not useful at this point. I uh, never really, um, oh, it was open deck list, so, but never really a, much of a factor uh, because there just wasn't enough fate to take off characters to justify using five for that. Now, Scorpion keeps a lot of fate uh, instead of like spying this Miyako for existence, so I'm sure they have, you know, multiple complex characters in hand, which is going to make this even more difficult. Crane has one character and two fate. Um, so they have options on how many stewards have they played and how many young harriers. So there's a young harrier left. There is two stewards left, but only one for shame. There's one Kami unleashed, I think. I'll take a quick look at deck list here. Scorp's got nasty stuff like cunning magistrates and another goblin sleek and another Kami unleashed. No, Cammy Leash has been used, so there's still all the rivals. Just all the rivals and one Stuart. Mm. And he can't afford the rivals. Unless, you know... Unless Nivik makes a play that I wouldn't necessarily make and scouts around and finds Manicured Garden. I don't know if that's a wise thing to do. Yeah, if this Kachiko gets honored, it'll be huge because... Oh, but then he can't play the court games. If Guest of Honor blocks, he cannot play court games. So this Kachiko is... In all likelihood, not going to get honored, so he can't send away the guest of honor. But catch go plus favored niece is winning the air. And even if he doesn't win the air, there has to be something to stop the goblin sneaks unopposed. Uh, unopposed and not getting off a fire ring. Okay, yep, smart. He's going to send in for the military first. Uh, yeah, it's, it's true. He does have more chance of getting off the military victory. And also, conflict characters not going to be able to withstand um, Kachiko on the political, so even more chance of getting an unopposed there. Yeah, this is, I didn't see this line right away because I was fixated on sort of the bigger political number, but the 
Mili oh, he does go scouting. Interesting. I mean, it's military, so... Yeah, without being up the bonsai, or... I mean, he does have fine katanas in his deck. So a conflict character, like... Uh, Strip Law with a fine katana is not going to get it done. A small bonsai and a fine katana is what he needs. So back to Fertile Fields. So Guest of Honor does block. I mean, he has to block this. <sighs> but he needs... Yeah, I just don't know what he's going to do for the second conflict. I mean, Kachiko unopposed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and Yan is saying the sneak is going to be his undoing. Because it was a calling of favors target and took enough fate. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know what his line is to stop the catch go, or is he talking just about this this conflict? Um, maybe he doesn't have he doesn't have the sword or the bonsai. Well, he, he has one or the other, so he's got a one in seventeen of just winning this conflict. Yeah. Okay. So Crane uh, gives the good game, and it was very well played by.